Hi friends. Hope everyone is safe. Uh, this video illustrates how we can install ESXi 6.7 in a desktop PC or a home PC. Actually I have a motherboard Asus Z390 and a processor Intel i7 8th generation 8700K. Uh, I download I already downloaded the ESSX 6.7 actually it is a 130 MB from the VMware site and create an image in a DVD a CD is fine but I have a DVD okay ESXi 6.7 is a type 1 hypervisor type 1 hypervisor means uh, we can directly install that in a bare metal that is known as the type 1 there are type 2 types type 1 and type 2 this is type 1 hypervisor ESXi 6.7 type 2 hypervisors are provided by Microsoft is providing type 2 hypervisor VM is providing uh, type 1 hypervisor that is EXI 6.7 okay actually let's go to our practical section I'm going to turn on my PC yeah, I installed the DVD and I am entering into the BIOS settings. Okay, uh, here I am in the BIOS area. From here, I need to select the DVD drive to boot. Here it is on UEFI mode. Okay, Good priority from here, we I can select. Actually, it has two hard disk and one DVD. Okay, we'll go to the boot menu. Uh, no problem, I'm selecting this one. Boot from the DVD drive. So boot and select the boot. selecting the DVD drive okay it start loading ESXi installer actually it check a lot of dependent components like the network adapter what are graphics the processor everything it will take uh, just one two three minutes we will see how the checking is going on these all things are loading from the installer once it loaded then only we will start the installation Now one main thing we need to take care about it is it must the Intel LAN. Okay, it's scheduling the installation. Let me take the processor. I7 8700 processor. And it shows the RAM installed. A minimum 16 GB RAM is required, but it is not recommended. Maybe in 8 GB also we can install. That's not a problem. But for better performance of the VMs, we are going to install in the ESXi host. Maybe a higher RAM is better. Okay, we got this screen. Welcome to ESXi 6.7 installation set the operation to perform okay actually i want to continue so i am pressing the enter from the keyboard as comes the just the licensing terms agree and accept i'm pressing f11 
okay it is showing the hard disk actually in this pc i have two hard disks there a ssd and a toshiba normal hard hdd is there i want to install in the ssd it will it will provides little more faster so i am selecting the ssd okay while installing it will ask that we need to upgrade esxi or install esxi and preserve vmfs vmfs is the file system that is using by the vm installing esxi and suppose if anything is available it will override the vmfs actually i am selecting the last option install esxi and override vmfs data store uh, i am using the down arrow up arrow to down arrow up arrow and for select this one i am using the space bar so the selection is now it is selected the install esxi and override vmfs data store first time installation we need to select this one here we can select the language keyboard layout that is us default i am selecting us default here we need to enter a root password i am entering a password here maybe it's a alpha numeric with a special character okay it is showing that the disk will be partitioned okay that's fine here i need to select f11 to install The version of ESXi we are using is 6.7.0. Now it start installing. It is now 6.7. It's nine percentage. It will take little time, maybe five to ten minutes to installation complete. So we will get back at that time once the installation is successful. Okay, now it shows the installation is almost 90 percentage. Just 10 percentage need to finish. Almost it takes only two, three minutes. Okay, now the installation is complete. Remove the installation media before rebooting. Okay, I just remove the CD and the installation drive. And the reboot. Okay, I'm pressing the enter key. Server so will shut down and reboot the process will short time to complete. It will it is start rebooting. start loading
Actually, this is all the dependencies for run the ESXi host. A lot of services is there, a lot of dependency on the graphics card, a lot of dependency on the network adapter. A lot of services is there that everything is loaded and start. Okay, in this way we install the ESXi server. In next video, we can see how we are going to configure the IP address, host name, the properties and the components installed the, uh, inside the ESXi server. It is a useful video. Please subscribe and support. Hope everyone enjoys the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Welcome again for the next video. Thank you.